Mission complete. Osiris Rex from the edge of space, 63,000 miles away, releasing a capsule containing some precious cargo, a piece of an asteroid 4.5 billion years old. Four hours later, that capsule, the size of a car tire, landing in the Dugway Proving Grounds in Utah. Recovery teams, in a carefully rehearsed effort, bagged the capsule quickly to lower the risk of contamination, then delivering it to a hangar on the military base where it will be flown to the Johnson Space Center in Houston on Monday for further study. We'll be able to start evaluating those samples and providing them to uh, the scientific community. The seven-year-long mission, which cost over a billion dollars, captured samples of the asteroid Bennu, which scientists hope will help them understand the origin of life on Earth. Bringing these samples back here on Earth gives us um, so much more capability to analyze them and truly understand, um, hopefully, the origins of our solar system. Studying asteroids is critical for scientists around the world, in part for the fear that one could collide with our planet. NASA scientists predict a slim, 1 in 2,700 chance that the asteroid Bennu, said to be as big as the Empire State Building, could strike Earth far, far into the future in the year 2182. There's something like 30,000 asteroids that we know of just in the near-Earth environment. And while none of them have a target on the Earth yet, someday we probably will. So let's get to know these things as best as we can. OSIRIS-REx is now headed back into space for its next mission, retrieving a sample from another asteroid, Apophis. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.